Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Dr. Tapati's presentation. Today in this video I am going to discuss about the differences between irreversible and reversible enzyme inhibition. In case of irreversible inhibition process the inhibitors bind tightly to the enzyme often covalently and dissociate very slowly from the target. Therefore this type of inhibition is permanent Whereas in case of reversible inhibition process, inhibitors bind loosely to the enzymes by non-covalent interaction and dissociate rapidly from targeted enzyme. Therefore, this type of inhibition is temporary. Irreversible inhibitors change its chemical composition by changing the, changing the important amino acids needed for enzymatic activity. Irreversible inhibition cannot be reversed by the removal of excess inhibitor from the system. The recovery from irreversible inhibition requires the synthesis of new enzyme. Whereas in case of reversible inhibition process, the enzyme inhibition can be reversed if the inhibitor is removed. In case of irreversible inhibition process, enzymes do not follow michaelis benten equation and line of plot. Whereas in case of reversible inhibition process, enzymes follow michaelis benten equation as well as line over bar plot. There are three types of irreversible inhibitors, group specific reagents, reactive substrate analogs or affinity labels and suicide inhibitors or mechanism based inhibitors. Example of group specific reagents are iodoacetamide and iodoacetate as inhibitors of cysteine proteases diisopropyl fluorophosphate as cysteine protease inhibitor, NAD gases and pesticides as inhibitor of cysteine protease acetylcholine esterase. Example of reactive substrate analog is diisopropyl fluorophosphate as inhibitor of alpha chymotrypsin. Examples of suicide inhibitors are allopurinol as xanthine oxidase inhibitor, Penicillin as transpeptidase inhibitor and aspirin as cyclooxygenase inhibitor. Whereas there are four types of reversible inhibitors, competitive inhibitors, uncompetitive inhibitors, mixed inhibitors and non-competitive inhibitors. Competitive inhibitors bind to the substrate binding site. Example is malonate as a competitive inhibitor of succinate dehydrogenase. Uncompetitive inhibitors bind to enzyme substrate complex. Inhibition of lactate dehydrogenase by oxalate is the example of uncompetitive inhibition. Mixed inhibitors bind to the enzyme and the enzyme substrate complex with different affinity. Example is ketoconazole which is mixed inhibitor of 5-alpha reductase enzyme. Non-competitive inhibitors is non-competitive inhibitors are like mixed inhibitors. That means they bind with both enzyme and enzyme substrate complex, but affinity is same for both uh, towards enzyme and enzyme substrate complex. They also bind to a site different from the substrate binding site. Example is deoxycycline, which is a non-competitive inhibitor of proteinase enzyme of bacteria. 